Welcome back to our Fast API series. In the previous video, we introduced Fast API, its features, and set up our first Fast API application. Today, we'll be diving into creating and managing routes in Fast API. So before we get into the code, let's first understand the differences between some common HTTP methods, get, post, put, and delete. Then we'll move on to creating routes for each. HTTP methods are the building blocks of web communication. Each method serves a different purpose. Get is used to retrieve data from the server. It's read-only and doesn't change the server state. Post is used to create new resources on the server, such as submitting a form or adding a new item to a database. Put is used to update existing resources. Unlike post, which can create new resources, put is typically used when you know the exact resource you want to update. Delete does exactly what it sounds like. It deletes resources on the server. Understanding these differences is crucial when designing your API routes to ensure they are used appropriately and efficiently. Now let's start with a get route, the most common method used to retrieve data from the server. In this example, we use the app.get decorator to specify that this route will handle get requests. The function read root is linked to the root path, returning a JSON response. Fast API automatically handles JSON serialization for you. To see this in action, we'll run our application using uvicorn. Simply type the following command in your terminal, uvicorn main app dash reload. This will start the Fast API server with dash reload enabling automatic code reloads during development. Once the server is running, open your web browser and navigate to http 127.row.1 slash. You should see our JSON response with the welcome message, confirming that the get route is working correctly. Fast API also generates interactive API documentation, accessible at slash docs. This documentation allows you to test your API directly from the browser, making development and debugging much easier. Next, let's create a post route, which is used to send data to the server, typically for creating new resources. In this example, we define a post route at slash item slash that accepts name and price as parameters. Fast API automatically validates the data types, ensuring name is a string and price is a float. This route returns the data back in a JSON response, which is great for confirming that the request was processed successfully. Let's test this route using our interactive documentation. Expand the post route under slash items, enter sample data, and click execute. The API responds with the same data you sent, confirming that everything is working as expected. Now let's move on to the put method, which is used to update an existing resource. In this example, we'll update the price of an existing item. Here, we've added a put route at slash items item ID. Notice how we include item ID as a path parameter to specify which item we want to update. The function then returns the updated item's details in a JSON response. Using the interactive documentation again, we can test this put route by specifying an item ID and providing the updated data. The response will show the updated item information, ensuring the update was successful. Finally, let's create a delete route to remove an item from our list. Delete requests are used to delete resources on the server. This delete route takes item ID as a path parameter, deletes the specified item, and returns a confirmation message. While this example is simple, you could expand it to actually remove items from a database or in-memory list. Once again, we can test this in the interactive documentation by specifying an item ID and executing the request. The response will confirm that the item was deleted successfully. In this video, we covered the basics of creating and managing routes in Fast API. In the next video, we'll dive deeper into path and query parameters to handle more dynamic data. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. See you in the next one.